We've had a couple of questions about how to run the admin uh, control panel here on Insurgency Sandstorm. Uh, here's how we do it on, on the radio standby server anyway. And we do have a, a third party program that we use outside of this, the admins. We'll make another video on that. But uh, anyway, here we go. So to access it on your numpad, just hit your minus key, top right key on your keyboard, usually. Uh, so that'll bring you to the server admin window here. And as you can see, we got the game, players, levels, and developer tabs at the top. These switches here I don't usually use because there's other options in the developer section that will do these things but with a little more control. I'll tell you about that in just a moment. For any time that you may need to kick or ban a player, that's in the players tab, of course. And since I'm the only person on this server currently, I'll be the only one shown in this list, except for these guys. This is, this is my character name. You would have characters listed here and be able to scroll up and down the list. But if you have a player that you need to kick or ban, first of all, if you need to kick somebody to make room for a member, this kick button over here is what you would use. Each player will have their own set of kick and ban options. So you just make sure and line it up with the one that you wanna remove from the server. These are bans for 10 minutes, one hour, one day, and a permanent ban. The 10 minute, one hour, and one day, of course, are temporary until the timer expires. And the permanent, that's a little more, that's a little more permanent. Uh, we actually have to go in and remove that player from the ban list manually. So, you know, if you're gonna ban somebody, make sure you either do it with the temporary and the thought that, okay, they can come back, their offense has not been too bad, or we're just not gonna let them back at all with the permanent ban. Usually that's something that we won't pull back out or unban the player. So if you do have to ban somebody, please do leave a message in the radio standby group chat on Steam. That way we all know who got banned and for what reason, and of course, who did the banning process. Let's skip over to levels. This one's kind of handy, especially if you're not running the third party program I mentioned earlier. This will let you select which level. And of course, let's say we want to play crossing. You can select either insurgents or security. And at the bottom is your day and night options here. You can just you know, select any of these. You notice all of these are day. If you wanted to go night, you can select this button here after selecting which type of map you want to use on that map name. So firefight, ambush, domination, all that stuff's here. Every map type that's available. But if you're in the middle, let's say you're in the third round in a match or something like that, and you want to grab all the points that everybody's accumulated before switching the map and losing all those points. You know, you may upset a player if you just throw their points out the window by resetting the, the level or the map without grabbing their points. And the way you do that is do a victory restart here. And what this is going to do, once you click victory restart, there's a couple of screens that it won't register. You actually have to be in play to perform the victory restart. And what that does is, of course, exactly what it sounds like. It sets the match to a win state. Everybody accumulates their points, and after those points are, are counted on the screen, then you could go ahead and switch your map to whatever you wanted to on the next match that comes up, the next screen after the points are counted. If you've got somebody that's AFK and they're the last person alive, I usually run an in-round defeat. It doesn't matter which map or match you're in, or which round of the match, rather. 
You know, if the last guy standing is AWOL or AFK, well, we've all died except for the person that's not at their computer. So just hit a defeat, and that'll start the next matchup. Most of this stuff here is available with cheats turned on. We don't run with cheats, so it's, a lot of this stuff won't be available. Let's go back into... Yeah, I believe all this is cheats as well. And here you can turn on your FPS, which registers right up here on your screen. And just a quick word about some of the cheats. Uh, it, to be able to tell if the option is a cheat or not, uh, you know, if you click on something that's not working, how do you know, well, why is it not working? Well, let's go, let's try one of these. Let's try to respawn all. Oh, that's not a cheat. That worked. Just a quick word about the cheats. Uh, let's go over that in just a little more detail. So the easiest way to tell if it's a cheat or not, click on it. Well, how do you know if it's a cheat or not? Well, let's do that. Let's say, let's go into the developer section. Let's, I wonder if this one's respawn all. I wonder if that is a cheat. Oh no, careful, because we just restarted or respawned everybody on the round, started them back at the starting position. You may want to do this on a server where there's no other players. That way you're not messing with anybody's points or progress or anything like that. And here, counterattack, if we click on that, it tells us up in the top left up here, cheats are not allowed. Well, that's a cheat. Some of these things you can skip, match waiting state, that's a cheat. Counterattack, that's also a cheat. Infinite round timer, that's not a cheat. Look down here. We got forever to finish this round. It's not even counting anymore. So again, even after I respawn all, that stays the same. So you really don't want to do this on a live server, going around and you know checking to see if this is what you want to click on. Uh, broadcast music, this is kind of fun. Not very uh, effective as far as what you might do as an administrator. Just play around with this. Uh, jump on an empty server somewhere. Our servers are empty in the mornings right after restart. So anytime, you know, before lunch, whatever your time zone is usually. Most of our admins are in the U.S., before lunchtime, they're empty, just like right now. Be careful. Just a second ago, I was trying to record this video, and I hit respawn all, and one of our members came in, popped in over here. <laughs> so he'd been standing here waiting on me to finish whatever I was doing as a single player on the server. And by him jumping in while I'm doing this, as soon as I hit respawn all, well, over here he stood. So anyway... Jump in here on us an empty server, play around with some of these things, see what you can and cannot do. Don't play with these buttons because they are, or at least this one here. If you ban yourself or ban another player by accident, again, we have to come in here and pull this back out or pull that player back out of the ban list, which takes quite a few minutes to find out who they are, what their number is to pull out, remove them. And then we have to restart the server once we remove somebody from a band. So it's not a not an instant thing that we can do. This one's pretty serious. These will fall back out as soon as the one day or the one hour or 10 minutes has expired. And again, kick means, well, we just want you off the server for just a second. Maybe we're making a place for one of our friendlies. Or maybe you were just a little rude and we want to get your attention. You know, whatever. Whatever the issue is, if it's not a bannable offense, then just kick and then you know if it's not too bad hit one of the temporary bands this guy be careful so again have fun if you got any questions uh, shoot me a message on our steam and 
and we'll see you soon. Oh, let's do a let's do a victory restart. How about that? Yay! Enjoy. Oh. <laughs>